find unusual things under the sea. Number 9. Did you know the fountain of youth might be located in our oceans? Wrinkles are caused by elasticity in collagen. Now researchers have found that sea cucumbers and sea urchins have the ability to change the elasticity of collagen within their bodies. The discovery was made after analyzing the DNA of a purple sea urchin. Genes for messenger molecules called peptides are released by cells and they tell other cells in their bodies what to do. In the sea urchin's case, those peptides cause the creature's body walls to quickly soften or stiffen. It's believed the research could lead to new methods of keeping skin appearing healthier and younger. Number 8. The Brazilian Atlantis was a continent hidden off the coast of Brazil. Samples of granite 900 miles from Rio were discovered when researchers dredged a long mountainous rock formation called the Rio Grande Elevation. Scientists think the rocks were part of a continent that existed 100 million years ago, but sunk into the ocean when Africa and South America drifted apart. That led experts to dub the discovery the Brazilian Atlantis. More testing was due on the rocks discovered as well as the underwater geological formation. Number 7. A Hidden Ocean The Mediterranean Sea is better known for its crystal blue waters, but some of the oldest oceanic crust in the world is located some 9 miles below its seafloor may have once existed here long before the Atlantic was created, some 340 million years ago. A mid-ocean ridge beneath the eastern Mediterranean Sea was discovered that contains the world's oldest oceanic crust, according to geologists. The crust measures 23,000 square miles and is older than any other oceanic crust yet discovered, and it may have formed as Pangaea, a prehistoric supercontinent, was breaking apart. Pangaea is thought to have included all current land masses, and this new discovery may change theories on how it was formed. Number 6. Take a gander at this encounter near a beach in Puerto Vallarta. A scuba diver named Christian Hauser got up close and personal with a white jellyfish. A little too close, really, especially to the tentacles. It was an extremely rare sighting, so maybe the diver's enthusiasm got the better of him. But the large creature is a species of box jellyfish, many of which carry a potent venom. Number 5. China's Tarim Basin is a valley that's bigger than California, New Mexico, and Florida combined. On the surface, it contains Taklamakan, the biggest desert in China. But researcher Li Yan says there's evidence of an ocean hidden deep underground, one that might contain 10 times more water than the Great Lakes of North America combined. You can see Li Yan at the site with a colleague in this photo. But all that water is not necessarily a good thing, because that would actually store more carbon than all the plants on Earth combined. Experts liken the carbon-rich water to a can of soda that's been shaken up. If the aquifer were opened, all that greenhouse gas would escape into the atmosphere. Number 4. Octopus's Garden Finding treasure under the sea isn't so unusual, unless it's discovered by an octopus. A Korean fisherman was hoping for a catch of webfoot octopus, which is considered a delicacy. When his first catch of the day was hauled in, he noticed the creature had several blue objects attached to its suckers. The fisherman thought they were seashells at first, but upon further examination, the objects turned out to be shards of pottery. He cast his net a few more times, and each succeeding octopus caught had those same shards of pottery attached to the suckers. One creature even had an entire plate caught in its tentacles. When the fisherman returned ashore, he contacted the National Maritime Museum of Seoul, who sent out a team to investigate. Officials say the pottery was over 900 years old, dating back to the 12th century Koryo dynasty. Over 30 bowls were later recovered, and it's now being hailed as one of the greatest ever undersea treasure finds. Number 3. Ghost Fleet. Over 40 perfectly preserved shipwrecks were discovered recently on the floor of the Black Sea. A mapping expedition accidentally discovered the ancient shipwrecks at depths of 1,800 meters. Researchers used a pair of remote-operated vehicles to survey the area. The Black Maritime Archaeology Project was initially carrying out geophysical surveys. Ancient Greece and Rome, as well as the Byzantine Empire, conducted many activities on the Black Sea. The ship's perfectly preserved condition is 
is attributed to the Black Sea's lower anoxic level. Archaeologists call this a dead zone, a part of the Black Sea that contains no light or oxygen. The organisms that normally feast on organic materials like wood cannot exist in this environment. It's thought the findings will provide new insights regarding those communities living on the coast of the Black Sea. Number two, sea bells. Some truly bizarre structures were located in an underwater cave in Yucatan, Mexico. Weird looking stalactites shaped like bells are hidden deep within huge cenotes, or naturally formed sinkholes made of limestone. Mayans used some of them for a source of fresh water and built their towns around them. Those stalactites come in a vast array of sizes. Some are minuscule, while others are as large as a person. Experts say the stalactites are created by minerals in water dripping from the cave ceiling. But while most have pointed tips, these have formed into bell-like shapes. It's thought that wind blowing in the caves might be the reason for the unusual formations, but no one really knows for sure. One thing, however, is for certain. These structures were formed over thousands of years. A typical stalactite can take 100 years to grow one inch. The variety of shapes have invited comparisons to elephants' feet, trumpets, and shower heads. Now, some of us at Epic Wildlife thought a few of the stalactites resembled those big rocket engines used by NASA. Number one. Aquaculture is also known as aqua farming or fish farming. It's a term that refers to the farming of aquatic organisms, including fish, crustaceans, and aquatic plants. Aqua farming cultivates aquatic plants and animals as opposed to fisheries that catch, process, and sell fish. Concerns over fisheries passing on diseases from processed fish onto wild fish have led to a global expansion of large scale aqua farming from the Philippines to Scotland, which is proving to be beneficial for the environment and self-sustainable as well. Some forms of aqua farming use vertical cages filled with giant scallops which thrive on fish waste and act as a natural water filter. Nearby, aquatic plants like sugar kelp convert nitrates and phosphorus into plant tissue. Other aquatic farms harvest the cobia, also known as the black salmon, and is a highly valued seafood. These pens can hold 40,000 fish that are continually cleansed by the current without using antibiotics. In 2012, aquaculture produced 70 million tons, and that number is expected to grow in the future. <laughs> 